Let's ride, dude. Let's do it. Let's ride. Let's go right. together. We're going to do a golf simulator. Right? Oh, my God. I want to come. Where's... Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, this is the most the most high vibes team. Hey, Max, you want to get in here, too? You want to do both middles? Let's do it. Uh, get on the other side of me. Uh, you can make me look really small. This is great. Uh, so I'm Rob St. Clair from We're Volleyball Stories. You didn't, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go for it. The, the, dude, this is what I'm talking about. You guys are having more fun than any other team in this tournament. I am. That's uh, VLA. So there's beef and VLA. Big time. Big time beef. We, 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 uh, uh, might as well be. Yeah, we got to talk about this. Go, go, Maxi. Go, 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 Maddie. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, so you boys, this, this team is having so much fun. It's unbelievable. It's incredibly fun to watch. Like six sets up, six sets down. That's great. And all the middles getting some looks. Um, I, I don't even know where to start with this. Tell, tell me about this game because the, the, in a word, I would describe it as convincing. Convincing. I mean, a lot of dads out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and just saying this, Max is actually the only single player on our team. Oh. That's true. Max and Eric are the only single players. But don't I feel like we have... Out there like that. But we, I think the difference yeah, is the, the we got man. we got like a big Slide thirty in. and over. I feel like a big thirty. We got a lot of daddies on here. We call we them daddies. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, a lot of veteran players. You'd say veteran players. In the professional daddies. world, we would say that. Yeah. But I, I actually like daddies yeah. a lot better. But I. No, but the, the, my that's my point. That's my point. The point is, I felt like oh, we had a lot of veteran energy. You know what I mean? Guys coming in, doing their job. I think we played super well together for the fact that we haven't played very, very long. You know, we haven't played together for very long. I mean, other than every summer, but like <laughs> a couple weeks, you know, but like it's pretty amazing. It's a good mix. You think? You think, bud, huh? Pat, you, don't give it to that. you don't get that. Uh, I'm going to keep this only volleyball. I'm going to say that this was a very good win, a very convincing win against, against a very young Italian team, though they were obviously missing a few key players. We're ecstatic to get the 3-0 win not have to exert too much energy here in canada we got a little rest day tomorrow and then we are on to canada the home team and i want to tell you guys about that i i want to i want to just set the stage because everett is canadian we had a bet last year when you guys played canada and vnl and now we, we weren't no everett my co-host on, on on our podcast is canadian Oh no, he doesn't get to interview you guys. I do. Last year, when when you guys three would Canada convincingly in VNL, he had to sing our national anthem to start our podcast, which was awesome. How about this? This year, he beat him. He has to sing our national anthem on the podcast. That's that's start. what he did. That's what, that's what he did. Uh, no, he's 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 saying the Star Spangled Banner. But what he what? Let's make him do something more embarrassing. When we when he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to interview Canada tomorrow or sorry Saturday after you guys beat Canada. I will give him a USA T-shirt to wear while he interviews the team after they have lost. I, more. I think there should be face paint involved. I think we get I, I think we get stars and stripes on that face. Maybe a t maybe a shirt off. Honestly. Oh. <laughs> maybe we follow him. Maybe we get a camera on him. Follow him through a shopping mall. He's got some chest hair to match. Maybe. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we cut in a little. Want to grow the podcast? That's gonna get views, baby. We gotta get You're not views. wrong. We gotta get those views. Uh, give, give me, to, give, give me, give me some middle vibes. I was a middle once upon a time. I, I get the energy. To tell me, um, give me a middle's perspective of blocking against a little team like that. Kind of a little team. I wouldn't even say little. Both of their middles, all their middles were bigger than me. So. But the, doesn't mean they're as good as either of you. No, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I feel like. Um, when you have like really good help blockers, it just makes your job so much easier. And to be honest, they were in perfect in system, like one out of every ten balls. It felt like. Yeah, we make it a lot easier. Sorry, to, sorry, to, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Co-hosting, we're co-hosting the host. Take it, go for it. No, I think we got to give credit to it, to our to the rest of our team. Honestly, they made it really easy on us tonight. They slowed the game down for us. Um, but being a middle is great. Yeah. Being middle is great. You jump a billion times and get set like three times. It's awesome. We love middle block. <laughs> the, I'm kidding, kids. Well, the most, the least glamorous, <laughs> thankless, but most important position on the court, dude. Yeah. I, I totally get it. Uh, I, I also think it's the hardest. The glamour, Sometimes, uh, Taylor, we got your we got your ace down the line that caught like a centimeter of each sideline. Give you Javier Weber's direct phone number. I'd like you to send it to him. I swear to God, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. okay. We will do that. Because he hates when I serve in five. We worked all, Javier Weber, the assistant coach. You hate, right? you, he hates when you serve down the line? Javier Weber is the assistant coach to the team in Poland I was just on for right. two years. He was my coach. We worked so much on hitting one six, one six, one six. Every time I'd hit into five and miss, he would yell at me. 
So, Check this out. Yeah, no. Oh, trust me, guys. It's not leaving my DNA, dude. Every time I get an ace and five, I look directly at him. Watch. You're going to see this. Super lucky. Tease the Absolutely line. Absolutely perfect. And, and if you zoom in on the face here, you're going to see directly looking at Javier. Yeah, That's actually, exactly wow. where that face is. Yeah. So. That's unreal. Uh, work through you, really. I feel... I don't know how you feel. I feel like a conduit in some way for the gods. A conduit of pure middle blocker energy. Uh, last but not least, Maxi, welcome back, dude. Thank you. It's it's good to see you Thank back. You. Uh, tell me tell me your vibes. Tell me your physical, mental feelings uh, about your first match back with Team USA. And you can take this if you want. Oh okay, I'll tell you. Thank you so much. Um, honestly, first set I was a little nervous to be honest because it's been a while. I was over in China, and. Only there for two months, so that was about the highest level of volleyball that I was getting for the past year and a half to, well, yeah, two years almost since the Olympics, since Tokyo. Yeah. But it's great. Shoot, man. Honestly, it feels so good to be back with these guys. I know, hey, Eric. I, I, I know that they really miss me, especially this little guy right here. What's that? You want to get a hug? What's that? No. On, do it. Do it on camera. Yeah, let's go, boys. I think we ended there. Great. Thanks, boys. Middles. Middles. Thank you guys. Honestly, I love what you guys are doing. I appreciate it a lot for the sport.